Hi, and Idaho Voyager fans. Coming to you from inside Guinevere, our Lance 2075 trailer. We are parked in storage, and so we do have a uh, pile of linens here that haven't been made up yet. Uh, but today, we are going to do a modification for our uh, one of our hanging closets here. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. And as I mentioned, I'm doing a modification. We have two of these hanging closets. Uh, on either side of the bed and my wife Anna likes to have her clothes hanging I do not and for me how deep this closet is becomes a nuisance when I hang stuff because I really can't store anything behind there and it's just not very practical for me so I wanted to have a shelf system and that's what we're going to do today on my side of the bed we are going full-on shelving on a budget and easy without any major alterations to the actual unit so they can be removed easily when and if we ever uh, part with Guinevere. So I'm here with my uh, makeshift table saw. I do have a table and I have a jigsaw. So that's as close to a table saw as I'm gonna get. Um, but this is what I'm doing. Uh, basically, I'm gonna put um, these little support pegs or whatever you want to call them on the four corners on the bottom. And I'm going to attach them with this. If I can reach in here and grab it. I'm going to attach them to each wall with one of these double-sided clear mounts at the top and the bottom. I don't need a lot and I want to be careful not to damage the interior when it's time to pull them off. But I think that's pretty negligible and I'm willing to, uh, to do that. But basically I'll attach these on the bottom section. There's gonna be four of those legs on the bottom section. And then I'm gonna put this on top. This is really lightweight, super lightweight. And this is actually um, marker board. Um, so it's got a really nice, clean, white surface on top. So I'm gonna lay that on top of this bottom section, and then I'm gonna fasten just four little screws that go right there on top, so that first one's down and secure. And because of the curvature of the back, the nice thing is I measured it, so that one's gonna go all the way to the back. And then on the top one, I only need to do two of those on the right side, that board that's there already will serve as the landing point for the left side of this shorter ledge. So this shorter uh, shelf is measured to then butt back against the curvature. And so both shelves will go all the way back to the curvature. And then once I put this on, I'll fasten it uh, with the screws. And on those two on the side, I'll do the same thing. I'll stick it to the side. And I think it might work and be pretty clean. So let's see what, what happens. I've done the initial install here. You can see the, the little legs there. And what's crazy as I've put this on, those legs are not stuck yet. And I think it's such a good fit that once I fasten that um, whiteboard to those legs, I might not even need to stick them to the wall because it's not going anywhere at all. You can see how this uh, interior is wider than the door, so that's going to butt up against the door. It's just not going to go anywhere. I don't think I'm going to stick it at all to the wall and just call it good. Okay, so we're all done. And again, um, didn't adhere anything to the trailer or screw anything in with the exception of this board right here which is there to hold up the speaker and the reading light i did screw two little screws in there which actually helps firm everything up uh, but everything else is pretty sturdy and again this is just to put clothes in uh, i don't like using the hanging rod i prefer having more usable shelf space and so this is really a game changer for me where i can uh, put clothes in there get a little basket to 
put into the deep recess of the cabinet so I can pull out uh, the, the basket. So overall, uh, pretty, pretty happy with it. Uh, very low cost, uh, about 20 bucks all in at Home Depot and um, very lightweight as well. And I do like the, uh, the material here. It's the dry erase board at Home Depot. So it's got a nice clean finish to it and pretty uh, benign as far as um, blending in with the trailer. It doesn't really alter the appearance too much. You still have the side of the closet there. Uh, with the texture of the walls. So pretty happy. That'll do it for now. Thanks for watching here on Idaho Voyager. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos coming down the, the pike. Take care. Bye-bye.